I'll censor every time we say the word vegan <laughs> in the context of fucking mayo. I'll so put it a just beep. sounds like you're talking about regular mayonnaise. Hello everyone and welcome to Playing Favourites, the podcast in which I and my good friend Harry discuss our favourites in a variety of different topics. My name is Luke, I'm joined by my co-host Harry, my favourite <laughs> animal is a da. <laughs> I've not heard of that one. <laughs> the da, you say. My favourite animal is a chicken. <laughs> no, no, can we economically put shell. it down as the da. <laughs> <laughs> that look, I, it was all tying into the episode. The, <laughs> oh, who's my favorite co-host? Oh, it's this dickhead. Oh wow! <laughs> Hi everyone. No, your favorite co-host is. I don't know. I feel like I, I never even think about this opening gag anymore. Uh, collecting eggs. I don't know. At the uh, they're watching Chicken Run. You ever seen God, Chicken? Why run? did we do this episode now? Easter's in like two months. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh well, that's right. We'll just delay it massively, and then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just put it on pause. Put it on yeah, the back you know, corner. We'll stop recording now. Use what we've got up to this point and then just come back in like two months and just record the rest. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, we're not going to do that. It won't be confusing at all. Absolutely not. Anyway, let's talk about what we're actually doing this episode, which is talking about our favorite way to cook an egg. No, I, I like saying, all right, let's talk about eggs. <laughs> let's talk about eggs, baby. Let's talk about you. Hi, hey, Ron. And welcome, me. To the, welcome to the podcast where two guys talk about eggs for an hour. <laughs> Like, it's just like a real low point of like these two dudes. What's your favorite type of egg? Ooh, I like wow. the, the like you know tan colored one. Well, this is the problem when like you got to pitch. You like you say to someone like oh, I do a podcast. It like comes up in conversation. They're like oh what on oh let me look it up and they look it up and you, they see you're talking about eggs and it's like well, hey it's not just eggs it's sauces as well. It's our favorite way to cook an egg. Oh okay yeah right. we've done sauces yeah. Ice cream. This is another episode in the spin-off series of playing favorites, playing flavorites. Oh, did you um, come up with that just now? I've I've had it in my head for weeks. <laughs> I really actually wasn't sure if one. I'd mentioned it already in the sources episode. Playing flavorites. Um, That's so good. Yeah. I d- I genuinely think we could have made just a whole other podcast where we only talk about the food, food ones. Well, we've done a few um, food ones. This is really scraping the bottom of some kind of barrel, like uh, ways to cook an egg. Dude, ways to cook an egg, I actually think, is a banger playing favorites a suggestion, which did come from Ellis, so thank you, Ellis. Yes, thank you very much. Like, uh, like um, a lot of our episodes, they do come from community suggestions, so make sure to hit us up if you have ideas for potential future episodes. That's something I say in the in the outro, but I'm going to call it out right now. Cause, yeah, do it early. Because we're really running low. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh man. Mean, there's a there's a backlog, but uh, yeah, but some of these. Hey, if it's a oof. if it's a corker, if it's like you know, if it's wait like ways to cook an egg, you, if you will do it next episode, you know, if it's on par with that kind of stuff. Well, probably not ways to cook an egg again. Well, yeah, if it, okay, not if it's literally that again, but if it's like that level of quality, then like ways to cook a we'll get in onion. Just sort of next week sorted, next episode <laughs> taken care of. Anyway, right, eggs. We haven't talked about eggs at all. I just feel like I'm I'm worried about talking about eggs because like. Why? I don't... What are you afraid of? I have a troubled history with eggs, is the thing. What like, does that mean? <laughs> okay, well, first of all, Luke, do you like eggs? I do. Now. Yes. Now? I used to not like eggs, but I do now. Wow, what an anecdote. <laughs> what a great... I, what did you want from me? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, long ago in the fields oh, of yeah, okay. Nottinghamshire, I yeah. farmed eggs for days. <laughs> in the egg fields, yeah. No, well, like, for example, I... I have a story, like, liking Snickers. I have a story about liking Snickers and coming to like them and buying these variety bags. I didn't want to buy a new variety bag till I ate everything and I, all, all these Snickers are left over, so I started eating them and wow, I got used to the taste of Snickers and now enjoy what Snickers. What's that to do with eggs? It doesn't have anything to do with eggs, Luke. It's, it's, it's on a meta level, it's associated with what we're talking about today. My a- Okay, okay. I'll do an anecdote then. An anecdote Fine. about eggs. I'll make one up. It's not made up. This is true, actually. It's a real um, egg anecdote. <laughs> <laughs> Moving to university <laughs> single-handedly made it so I kind of had to just eat eggs what? at a certain point. Why? Because, like, they're so cost-efficient. I guess. You can just eat a hard-boiled egg, and that's, like, 20p. Yeah, true. And it's, like, a it's like a good snack. Uh, I mean... That's healthy that's... and, like, good for... And you can, like, stick it in random meals. Oh, here's a hard-boiled egg that I sliced. <laughs> Yum. Beef, beef Wellington. Sat in the middle <laughs> egg there. In the middle. Egg in the middle. Pizza. Well, I used to make a lot of like just sat in the middle. If, if you eat instant noodles all the time, yeah, just boil an egg in the in the noodles. <laughs> Literally, just boil an egg with it. 
It's just like free protein. Well, it's not free. Yeah. But... I don't know if it's as versatile as you're making out. <laughs> I just think it's you're really good. Meals. No, genuinely. Tomato soup. You could pretty much. <laughs> throw an egg <laughs> Look, in there. I'm not saying you could throw a egg in any food, but I think you could slot an egg into your daily <sighs> intake. Easily. A lot of people do. A lot of people have eggs for breakfast. That's a very common thing. Yeah, you could just, just have a like raw egg. Just fucking slam them, dude. Just pound it back. Yeah. You know, that literally happened to me last night? No, the, the night before it last night. happened to you. Okay, I didn't drink the egg, but someone I was with who might have been quite intoxicated, we Googled it first. It was okay. Yeah, um, it's safe to do it in the UK. In, yeah, it depends. Like, as long as you get them from good conditions or... Do you do your research yeah. before you start drinking raw eggs? Um, but yeah, just like shot at an egg. I'm like, man, fair enough. Not for fun. It was a dare. Are they okay? Yeah, no, he's not died yet. But like, it's. I I honestly think I could do it. Um, have you got any eggs in the house right now? No. Well, maybe, but they're not mine. <laughs> Is anyone gonna notice? Like a single egg missing? Mm, they might not. But I also don't want to. Well, that's the thing, Luke. I feel like you absolutely could shot an egg live on the podcast. Ah, you son of a bitch! I'm not gonna do it. I'm not Please, gonna do it. Please, Luke. I, I will. No. I won't cut this. Everyone will know. <laughs> right? <laughs> they will know. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm a coward. I'm not going to shot an egg live on the podcast. You're no fun. Now I want to see if I've got any eggs in the fridge. Should we start this I episode mean, with me shot you're an You're at egg? university. You can be like... This is a supermarket you know, in Like, You're going to pause the episode so you can go shot an egg. I'll go check. Like, If there's any in the house, I will shot an egg right now. Okay? I think we should record the podcast first. What? Just in case. Just in case I die? No, but like you might get sick. Really? You might. Okay, if like we... not like not like you know, you can get tummy rot, but like you might you know Okay, get a right, bit of the fine. Whoa. In, in that case, if we remember at the end of the episode, I will shot an egg. And if Harry doesn't shot an egg at the end of the episode, then I'll call then this. you'll know he's a cat. No, then I'll call all this. Anyway, anyway, I wanted to talk about egg preparations. Rather, literally, yeah. the first thing we've spoken about in detail isn't even a way to cook an egg. It's a way to not cook it. Well, no, because, like... Okay, so... We're being very liberal with this episode, as we as we usually are. As, as always. Okay, yeah. it's never, like, exactly spot on, like, okay, oh, technically you're not cooking the egg, it's... Okay, and uh, you know, if you use the egg as an ingredient, are you technically cooking? You know, fucking whatever. Is, is, it, is it about eggs? Fantastic. Let's let's talk about it. So anything to do with eggs? Like, okay, duck egg. You ever had that, Luke? I've never had a duck egg, no. Okay, so that's not a route we can explore. That's fine. Neither have I. I don't really know what the difference is. <laughs> Ostrich eggs are a thing. They are. I mean, there's a lot of different types of eggs. I've had a... Roe is technically a type of egg. What is? It's fish eggs. Roe. Caviar? I think there might be some caviar in the fridge. I can go try some caviar. Why do you have caviar in the fridge? It's not mine. Would you like me to go see if there's some caviar in the fridge? I'll go and eat some caviar live on on the podcast. (laughs) I know. Caviar's really expensive. Yeah, I know. It's not mine. Why do they just have caviar? I don't know, Luke. It's a whole thing. Would you like me to go... Would you like like me to eat caviar live on... You should not eat that person's caviar, no. Why not? Because it's expensive. I mean, they're out, they're out right now. I can't ask them. <laughs> that seems like an even better reason to not eat it. All right, fine. I won't eat. Sorry, everyone. You know, I know you're all excited that Harry was going to eat caviar live on the podcast, but that's not going to happen now. Because I won't let you steal your housemate's food. <sighs> it's such a party pooper, God. Also, don't steal food from, food from people. It's a bit... Roe is... Roe is the, like... It's, it's, all, it's the same thing. It's just, like, cheaper. It's, like, not... The fancy. Oh. I don't know if I... Because it's like raw fish eggs, right? I don't know if it's raw, but... I don't know. Well, well, how are they I mean, processing like, yeah. them? I, I like, don't know. Like, I don't I don't know if I would trust that. It's like buying cheap meat. You know you were literally just talking about eating raw egg. Yeah, but like at least I know where that's come from. The supermarket. <laughs> yeah, it's... But like, like the fish, this whole like cheap caviar, don't know where it's been. I didn't been. say it was it's cheap. Kind I of said like, a like weird... it's not as expensive. I mean, not all caviar is expensive. Like if I, if I, here we go. It's a classic bit I'm of. I'm pretty sure all caviar is expensive. Right. Caviar shopping. Here we go. A fucking tin for 18 quid right here. That's expensive. Look how small that tin is. 20 grams. Okay. It's, yeah. You're That's not meant tiny. to be like using it in cooking or anything, but like, you know. For, right, Fordham and Mason caviar tasting collection. Are you collection. shotting it? I will shot caviar right now if you like. 
No, <laughs> we've spoken about this. <laughs> We're going around in circles. Okay, so relatively speaking, it's quite expensive. But like, it's not like, I, you know, I, there was a time where I thought like 20 grams of caviar would be like 100 quid. So the fact that it's 18 quid is like, I don't know, this I mean, seems pretty reasonable. It seems to be very expensive. There's, there's this here, 234 quid for some, how much caviar is this? <laughs> okay. I'm seeing from caviar.co.uk. For three thousand seven hundred eighty pounds, you can get a kilogram of caviar. Oh my god! Royal Beluga caviar. That's a lot of caviar. Now who's buying it? Who's going to caviar? Caviar.co.uk. You're ordering this in over the internet <laughs> for nearly four grand. It's probably for like supply, like for you know a restaurant or something. Oh, I suppose so. And the, the website's not even loading. So sorry, sorry caviar.co.uk. You, you've fucking DDoSed it. Yeah. Although, although saying that. On attiliscaviar.co.uk, it's all UK websites for some reason, you can get a kilogram for 790 quid. 790 quid for a kilogram of caviar. Like, That's dirt cheap. That's, yeah. That's God. Like, practically free. I'll order some now on the podcast. It'll be a great, it'll make great content. <laughs> wow. You just shot a kilogram of caviar. <laughs> I'll fucking, oh yeah, in one go. I'll just, I'll, I'll like tip it out onto the counter so it's like a little cake. I'm imagining it like a, little, like a sort of jelly, you know, sort of uh-huh. wibbling on the plate. And I'll just go down in one like a, go. Like a cobra. And, and engulf it with my mouth. And then... <laughs> That's vile. <laughs> God, that would be awful. How much caviar can you eat in one go? It's like really salty, right? Uh, I have no idea. I've never had it. I don't think I have either. I haven't tried this person's caviar. Nor do I really Not want to. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, actually I might. I don't really remember. It wasn't very memorable as an experience if I did. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I mean, it's just eggs, right? It's just fish eggs. Yeah, but even then, I don't really know what that means. Which does feel like a, it does feel like an odd thing to talk about. I know we're talking about our favorite way to cook an egg, but it really feels like we've managed to just completely <laughs> really go off somersault on around the question. Well, because like it's not, I don't know, man. Like for, it's an interesting point of discussion. Because if we immediately launch in with like, oh yeah, fried an egg the other day. Well, I I have a question for you. I have I have a question that I prepared. What earlier, is an egg? No, 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 right. not that. But, okay. I mean, close. Okay. Right. Here's one. I'm throwing it. It's, get ready. It's a curveball. Okay. I want to see what you're going to do with it. Okay. Mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do with this? I don't... It, is that a way to cook an egg? Is that an egg? I mean, it's got egg in it, so... It's made of you, egg. Do Do you... Yeah, you know, we're being liberal. Yeah, sure. Mayonnaise. Okay. My f- uh, well, I almost said it out loud. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> no, well okay, it was the entire concept of, concept no, 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 of the episode. No, no. It's not my favourite, but, I mean, <sighs> you know, it's up there. I like mayo. Yeah. Tell you what, mayonnaise tell you what is really good. Tell you what we've got in recently here in the flat. We got um, Heinz saucy sauce, Ooh. which is a combo of ketchup, ketchup and, and mayo. mayo. Um, I'm just Googling it now. You might want to do the same. Heinz saucy sauce. Because it's quite delicious. I really enjoy it. However, the image on the front makes me physically ill every time I look at it. This will be in the show notes. But for people who don't want to look it up, (laughs) it's it's, it's so gross. I can't even... How would you describe this? Intermingling of the two uh, substances. Yeah, there's like a white liquid and a vibrant red liquid sort of (laughs) coming down and then like intertwining. pink... Into like a red spiral, which is sat in this disgusting pink, like goo, that's in a container, and it, it just looks so disgusting. Um, it it doesn't look great. Here's the no. thing, though, Harry. What? I've got a question for you. <laughs> Sorry, is it anything to do with Heinz Crunch? <laughs> no, but I've just seen this on Look, Google Images no, as well. No, we, we did sauces already. Sorry, you let's go get it. Back. Let's go get it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I'm hijacking the episode. We're doing sauces again. <laughs> Fuck the eggs. Look, what, I, are gonna, <laughs> what are you going to say? I just don't understand why you would buy a Heinz sauce that's a mixture of two sauces rather than buying the two sauces and mixing them yourself. Because that's never how it worked. Luke, I tried to make salt and vinegar crisps when I was little by pouring some vinegar and adding some salt onto a ready salt. Well, crisp. yeah. It did not work. Are, that's completely different. It is not different. They have it their is. methods. <laughs> Heinz know what they're doing. I do not. I'm an ignoramus. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I know what you're doing, though. 
Right, we have ketchup and mustard in mustard. Mustard. <laughs> the, but the that mustard. doesn't even have any eggs does, in it. Does have an egg in it? It's just ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking disaster! <laughs> this is the egg one. <laughs> this is the episode about eggs. Fuck it, I'm abandoning that anecdote. We're not even. I'm not even going to entertain the idea of me mixing these two sauces live on the podcast. That's not happening. <laughs> You really, that. Want, you really want a live display on this one, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you've been, apparently. You've been waiting for so long. Look, man, I'm, I'm eating that egg at the end of the show. It's decided. I've, it's been Honestly. too intermingled with the rest of the episode right. now. Okay, anyway. Harry. Um, yeah? I have a question about eggs. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> have you ever got... This is a good one, okay? Okay, all right. right? Yeah. This is a big one. I think a lot... You can tell a lot about a person yeah. uh, based on their answer to this question. That's a okay. lie. But... Um, right. Have you ever got a double yoker? Ne- no, I haven't. And it's mm, exceedingly that's... rare. Well, it's not that rare because I've got one. Really? Yeah, I got a double yoker. When? It was when I was in university. Yeah. Probably second year of university. Second okay. or third year. What month? Um, Probably, how could I possibly remember that? <laughs> okay. I don't have the date written down. Right. Okay. Hold on, I'll check wow, my I would, diary. <laughs> I, I would write down immediately the, the day. I would take photos. But I I just cracked an egg and it was like it was a really big egg, like Ooh. unnaturally large egg. So I'd already got good vibes. I was like, <laughs> okay. yeah, I've got a, I've chosen a good egg for this one. It made a good impression, yeah. Um, okay. And I you know, I took it out of the thing. Yep. Cracked it. Double mm-hmm. yoka. What was just your immediate like right reaction? There in my bowl. My immediate yep. reaction was like, "Holy shit! I've got a double yoker. I gotta show everyone in my flat." As you said, did you did you show yeah. people? Did you like? Yeah, I just know? started walking around with this bowl full of two yokes. Which now that I think about it, for everyone else was probably like, you could have just cracked two eggs in there, bud. Like, there's no... Oh, no, but they have no reason to not believe you. Like, they, oh, you, you know. don't know, you know, <laughs> this type type of lies I was telling them all the time. You know. Oh right, I thought you were gonna say the type of people you were living with. Yeah. But like you're implying that you would do no, this often. I was the menacing one. Yeah, I, I would, I'd go around like, guys, I just found a golden egg. Oh, what guys? I've got a a, a Kit Kat, and it's all chocolate with no <laughs> wafer in the middle. In reality, you've been up all night forging like a mold <laughs> to then oh, cast God. the chocolate into. Yeah, what kinds of pranks going on? I, I've just googled it by the way. It's about one in one thousand. It's uh, not that rare, eggs, actually. Which is less rare than it. I thought. Yeah. How many eggs do you think you've eaten in your entire life? Not as many as you'd think. Okay. How many? Maybe, maybe like 75. No. Like, if we're just talking like, okay, fried, scrambled, poached, you know. If we're talking about, I mean, about mayonnaise I've consumed, and we're like, we're factoring that <laughs> okay, in. Okay, like thousands. Yeah. <laughs> Millions, perhaps. <laughs> Millions of eggs have gone through my body. Um... Yeah, no, probably about 75 eggs. 75 what about you? eggs? That seems yeah. really low. I never have them. Like, it's only, it would be... Yeah, but, like, how many know, do you have? If you made an omelette, how many eggs do you have in? Two. Okay, there you go. I've, e- I've, eaten, probably, I've eaten probably about 10 omelettes. Okay, so that's 20. There's 20 eggs. <laughs> You've eaten 10 omelettes in your entire life. Okay, maybe, like, 15, so that's 30. 30 eggs. Okay, so we're nearly halfway there. And then the rest it would be, like... Full English breakfast would be a good source of. Mm, it's always that's probably a majority. Yeah, I've probably so... had over a hundred full Englishes in my life. So what the f- really, Harry? I've lived for like several thousand days. Yeah, like I don't, I don't do this. I don't have the time, resources, patience, or inclination to make full English I, breakfast. When I was at when I was at uni, I used to just like make a full English in the morning because I was what, like, Harry? I never went to any of my classes. <laughs> Luke, I, this is what you were doing. Yeah, I just spent my. T- I was like, "Well, I'm not going to class today. May as well make some food." My 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 breakfast this morning was mm-hmm. okay. I woke up at lunchtime. Did it consist of an egg? Well, in a way. So okay. it was this, this. So I woke up at like lunchtime and was like, "Ah, oh, someone gave me a pot noodle yesterday. I'm going to have that for lunch." It's lunchtime now, but I didn't want a pot noodle to be the first thing I consume in the morning. So I had a timeout bar. You know, the chocolate, the wafer chocolate bar, before I had the pot noodle, and I called that my breakfast, and the pot noodle was my lunch. So, for breakfast today, I had a timeout. Um, So, you know... You said said kind of an egg. Where does that fit in there? Chocolate... Wafer? No. Were you going to say that chocolate has egg in it? (laughs) Briefly, yes. No. You were thinking of milk, bud. I think I am. Well, they're like both... 
No, they're not both dairy. They're not dairy. No, eggs are not dairy. I just, I'm, just, I'm not even finishing sentences anymore. <laughs> no. This is really stupid. But the pot noodle, that had... I don't know, noodles are grown? Where did noodles... Uh, you can... You, egg, egg noodles are a thing. Um, I don't think they're egg noodles. It was the, it was the no, Bombay bad noodles. boy flavour of... Oh, King... that's a good one, though. It's really spicy, though. Like, really, really oh, spicy. It doesn't have any egg in it, though. Well, there was a spicy sauce that came with it. That could have... To bind it, egg used as a binding have, agent. Yeah, no, you're right. It might have some sort of egg binding. See, okay. I know I enjoy playing the fool, but I know my things. <laughs> I, I, I know. I know Sorry, I just imagine some sort of ancient sorcerer who uses <laughs> egg binding magics. Um, <laughs> what would that even entail? That I don't know, like, you know, trapping someone in a big yoke. Ooh, okay. Um, Can conjure up like, uh, like you know, like we'd say water bending. It's with the white, the like liquidy, yeah, runny white. Yeah, dude, that would be awesome. But then what you can do is you can he- they, he or she or they can heat it up in an instant, and it will or that gooey white will harden into like into- solid white. <laughs> it's immediately fried. Yeah, and then the you know they could like trap someone in it. And they're trapped in egg white. You should always have an egg bender in your pie. It's the most exactly. meta build right now. So. This is the stupidest bit we've ever done. <laughs> you don't like the egg bite, egg binder, <laughs> egg binder, entire <laughs> binder. <laughs> We're moving on. This is getting too stupid. We did, this episode has really just gone off the rails. We're, we've barely talked about, spoken about eggs. Berg, all right, I've got a United favourites. If that were, if oh my we god, that might pull, actually, you might redeem it. <laughs> we might actually talk about eggs <laughs> on this episode. It's the nation's favourite way. So United favourites, the UK's favourite ways to prepare an egg. I've got top five here. Top uh, five. I suppose you're top ten. All right. What do you think? Fried, scrambled, omelette. Whoa, 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 whoa. So fried, number four. Sunny side up or down? Up. I don't know what sunny side down would mean. What? Down is when you, like, flip it. And I know people who flip eggs. It's a fucking monstrosity. Yeah, I don't know why you would do that. I don't people know why they're doing it. It's insane. Yeah. Apparently they're like, oh, it cooks it. It fucking gets cooked anyway. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So number know. four, 28% say, say fried is the best. Okay. What next? Uh, scrambled. Scrambled, number one. Soft scrambled, Love 31%. It. Scrambled egg, brilliant, right? Like, uh, omelette. 28%, number five. Uh, hard boiled. Yeah, well, no, hard boiled, no. Soft boiled, Soft number boiled. two, okay. 30%. Eggs and soldiers, uh, obviously. We'll get no. back to that. We'll come no, back no, no, to no. that. I meant, I meant like... Oh, for soft boiled, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Num- number three is the only one you're missing. It's nothing particularly adventurous. It's a very brief one. Poached? Yeah, number three, twenty nine percent. So yeah, scrambled yeah. scrambled softball poached. That might be fried. the easiest uh United favourites we've ever had. You, you got you got a player record for, for eggs? Eggs. I I didn't have one prepared, but I did just think that maybe there is like someone who has ate the most eggs. The most eggs or anything? I mean maybe like uh, we can we can bust them out. We can get I'm this. looking. Let's have a look. Uh the largest scrambled egg ever made weighs more than two tons, which is a... Uh, Wow, okay. Oh, Do you have a name? Dude, there is actually a, a, a world record breaking egg. What? Unrelated to the food, but... Oh, an egg that has broke a world record? Well, not an egg. Well, oh. kind what? of an egg. How can something it, be kind of an egg? Well, it, it wasn't a real egg. It was a, a metaphysical egg. An imaginary egg broke um, a world uh, record? Yeah, a fake egg. What the... F- what's, what's the record? A most liked Instagram post was of an egg. Yeah, it was a picture of an egg, like a photograph. Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, so I guess the the, the egg was a real egg. Mm, yeah, no, I guess so. Um, and this is number one. This is the most liked. The ins- most liked Instagram post. I don't oh my know god, if it, it still is, but it, it has its own. Luke has its own Wikipedia page. Yeah, Instagram egg. Instagram egg. At world underscore record underscore Dude, egg. Dude, do you think someone ate the Instagram egg? Maybe. Like what? The dude who made it, maybe he like cracked it open and was like, yeah. Ser- Sergey Platonov. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. That's the guy who uh, took the photo. Well, Sergey, did you eat that egg? Get in touch. I've got a Vice article uh, on the on the matter. Egg is just an egg, says man who photographed world's <laughs> most famous egg. My goal was to take a... Incredible. <laughs> My goal was to take a simple picture of an egg for fun. Never ever I could think that it would be a sensation like this. <laughs> this guy is loving it. He's so really, good. you know... 5 million followers, 54 million likes. Holy shit, wait, hold on. 
the okay so the caption for the post let's set a world record together and get the most liked photo yeah. on instagram beating the current world record held by kylie jenner brackets 18 million this post got 54 yeah, million it absolutely smoked it <laughs> absolutely scrambled the previous record <laughs> if you'll allow me to say so it is insane this egg has done really well for itself Harry, I've got a question for you. Go ahead. It's it's still we're still uh we're still playing records here. How tall do you think the largest stack of eggs is? Ooh, stack. Yeah, they managed to stack each egg mm. on top of one another. Ooh, it's not even like a pyramid shape or and anything. And they would literally. they would balance. Yeah, no, just uh one egg Goodness. on each level. Okay. You know what? I think it's going to be low because this sounds incredibly difficult. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty tricky. I, I don't think I could do two. So. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I'm going to say seven. Okay, it's three. Really? Yeah, it's pretty low. It was set on the 10th of April last year. Last year? I think we could beat that. I do not think we could. If you put them on their side, so not, the egg, not how you'd imagine an egg in that r- orientation, but rotate it 90 degrees. Yeah, I think that's going to make it even harder. No, because then you've kind of got that like wider flat bit as opposed to the really narrow top bit. You couldn't get the egg to rest on its side, though. Yeah, you can. If you naturally set an egg down, it'll... you could probably... Hmm. You can barely even get ah. an egg to sit, like, sit on its okay. top. On... What you do, you take. imagine an egg, you rotate it 90 degrees, that's the bottom one. Another egg, rotate it 90 <laughs> degrees the other way. The other way. Okay, and then they'll slot together nicely. <laughs> And then repeat that. Rotate one way on top, rotate the other way, stack them up. Because then they'll, okay. they'll be like... well, Harry, I, I like this. Because now we've got another test for you to try later on. Right, go ahead. Your ability to stack eggs. Oh, there you go. Then, well, I don't have any eggs in in at the moment. Like, I'm going to have to ask to borrow someone's egg so I can eat it at the end of this episode. And possibly multiple so you can stack them. <laughs> I thought you were, were going to imply I was going to chop multiple eggs. <laughs> I was like, Luke, this I is mean... extremely ambitious. Yeah, that's what we should do. Any egg that you can't stack, you have to eat raw. <laughs> eat in one go. Um, no, isn't this supposed to be a hangover cure? Just like t- two raw, raw eggs egg. or something. Yeah. I got this from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so I don't know if it's real. I think it is like a lie, um, but I Maybe. think it's one of those ones where it l- like does technically work. Ah. Because like, you know, pretty much doing anything really gross is usually just going to wake you up. I-, I don't know if that works when it comes to curing a hangover, but like... I guess it would it would give you more it would give you other things to worry about for a, at least a short period. Yeah, the, you know, oh, I just ate two raw eggs. The sludge going down your throat. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, oh, you're really not selling me on eating this raw egg at the end of the episode. Yeah, I mean you were the one who committed yourself to it, so no, I can't cut it now as well. You must lie in it. You're absolutely right. I must. So I guess that's going to happen. This is so fucking ridiculous. We haven't even discussed like the genuine. Okay, like, do you like fried egg? Yeah, fried egg's good. All right. I think it's acceptable. Okay, so you you attacked me earlier on the episode talking yeah. about egg anecdotes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was like, "Do you like eggs?" And you're like, "Oh, yeah, no, you know, I do, do now." And you and and you're like, "How could I ever have an anecdote?" I have an anecdote for why I'm kind of distasteful. Anti egg. Yeah, of eggs, which okay. is okay. You might either ask me either before we start recording or on the podcast how many eggs I would use in an omelet. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I said two. The first time I made an omelette was when I first went to university. I was 18. Um, looked up a recipe, fo- you know, followed it. Two eggs, crack it into the bowl, salt and pepper, whisk it up, you know, all that good stuff. How do you imagine? Don't use milk in my omelettes, controversially. Uh, I just do a bit of I butter mean, in there. That's not good. But it's right, it's sure. perfectly valid, so there you go. Nope. Um, so absolutely it's wrong, actually. acceptable, yep. Um, and so what I would do is, you know, I was just beginning to, to learn how to cook and to, you know, entering the, the world of... Of of spices and foods and all that stuff. So I thought, aha, here's how I'm going to spice it up. Everyone's telling me to use milk. Instead of using two eggs in an omelette, I'm going to use three eggs in an omelette. Oh, and no. So, and so I cracked three eggs into that omelette, made the omelette, and it was overwhelmingly <laughs> eggy. Yeah. Like, overwhelming. I hated it. It was, all, I mean... it was so fucking eggy that, like, I couldn't even finish it, and I hated every second of it. What did you think was going to happen? I don't know. I thought it might have more protein, which I guess it did. I mean, it did. And it was awful. That's why it tasted so eggy. Yeah, and so I hated it. I hated that omelette. And ever since then, it's like, man, every time I eat egg, 
it's it's a you think of that omelet i think that omelet is a chore it really made it it really made it a chore eating eggs and like so i when think I, you know, I, I did kind of have the opposite experience in uni where like making eggs became so easy for me and they were always so like you know all right at the very least mm. that i grew i grew to love them over time so yeah. rather than you having this one negative experience that really put you off eggs mm. i've had multiple mildly positive experiences that made me made me egg positive over well it, it was the double yoker i think that's what did it for you i think that was your inflection point it might have been the double yoker that did push me over the line you got so much joy from this one egg okay i've got a question for you harry okay you're making an omelet mm-hmm. you crack an egg in the in the mug or bowl yeah, or the, whatever you're mixing it utensil in, yeah. you use Okay, you crack yeah. a second egg. The second yeah. egg's a double yolker. I will throw it out the window because that's three yeah. eggs. That's three eggs. Yeah. Okay, I was like, curious if you'd stick to your guns on that I one. I think I would fry it and eat it. Like, I would prepare the omelette. I would finish preparing the omelette. In like in anticipation, be like, ah. I mean, you just got a double yolker. You can't just like let yeah, that go to waste, throw it out right? The window. Oh, yeah, I would still follow through, curious to see what would happen if it's a similar experience and then when it is undoubtedly the same experience and i hate it i would sort of reflect i don't really know i would i I wouldn't really know what to do at that point i'd probably bin the omelet you could make two omelets no because like i don't want one i don't even want omelets i I haven't cooked an omelet in like a year when was the last time you ate an egg Ooh, good question i bought some and that, ate them. That doesn't tell me. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. No, well, no. How I bought... did you eat them? I think I, f- I fried. Oh fuck. Okay, I made eggy bread. That's a good one. But like, I, even I didn't know how to make. Egg. I didn't know how to make eggy, eggy bread. Break. And I was being taught by someone who also didn't know how to make eggy bread. But they had eaten eggy bread before, and I hadn't. Yeah. And okay. so naturally, well, we fucked it up. Yes. And it. No, that makes it sense. was. It was all burnt and didn't work and. And the egg immediately turned cooked because the pan was like super hot. We cranked the egg into it and it immediately cooked. And it's like, yes. okay, I'm now just holding a piece of bread and there's a cooked <laughs> egg in the pan. What do I do? <laughs> um, so really, Eggy bread's really nice though. I didn't really enjoy it because it was egg. I mean, if you mess it up, yeah, Unless it's going to be great. Yeah. Um, so that, that wasn't a wholly positive. I don't have many positive experiences don't with eggs. Any, many positive egg experiences, if you will. Thank you. I'm here all night. <laughs> that that was, that one was absolutely cracking. Here we right. It started. It is we've 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 really uh we've really got into the the egg of things. <laughs> you could have said the yolk. Um... I was gonna make a white supremacy joke. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah. So like, I, I, when it comes to eggs, I've got nothing but bad experiences. Um, nothing but bad. You've never had a good egg. Well, like I have pro- probably when I was younger. You've, like, I mean, what about what about eggy soldiers? I think that's it. I think that's the thing. That's the last bastion. Of that's the egg one for me. you remember. Is like okay. Should having... we explain eggy soldiers? Because I'm pretty sure that's just a UK thing. I think it is. Also, you keep calling them eggy soldiers. What do you call them? Egg and soldiers. Egg and soldiers. Oh, what's your problem? You're saying eggy soldiers. Didn't didn't realize you were the word police. No, oh, I didn't realize you were the a word criminal. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, because uh, yeah, they're separate. The soldiers themselves aren't eggy. You eggify them. and then Yeah, they, them. I mean, yeah, they become eggy. They become eggy soldiers, but they don't start out as eggy soldiers. We need to explain what they are. This isn't the discussion. Okay, so what they are, for people who don't, want, who, who don't know, you soft boil an egg so the yolk is all runny, and then you put it in an egg cup, crack the top off of it in the shell, um, and then it exposes this, sort of, this golden lake of egg inside the, the egg. And then you've got, what you do is you've, you prepare some toast... And you cut the toast into strips, butter it. Probably butter it before cutting it into strips. And I think about it. <laughs> so individually buttering these little strips of toast, and then you dip the the toast, the butter toast, into the egg yolk and eat it. And that is egg and, and soldiers. Good. And it's pretty fucking good. Like it's it's worth. So it's d- good. it seems like you might have had a positive egg experience. I think I have. I remember fondly being. I have, maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need to revitalize yourself. You know what? I don't know if I need that though, because if I, d- I feel like eggs are not in a good position in my life, tactically speaking. And so You're if not I in the right mind state to to retry with eggs. Yeah. So if I if I try it and it's bad, I've got nothing left. Eggs have no leverage over me. I could fully denounce eggs at that point, but I can't do that now because one mayonnaise and two 
I've got good experiences in the bank that I can remember mm. and I look upon fondly. It really feels like you're uh, avoiding something here, Harry. It's kind of like you're uh, walking on eggshells. See, that's a phrase that people use. Sometimes. Yeah, but we're not even doing the pun bit anymore. To nor refer... did, nor am I dancing around anything. You're, like... you're dancing around your uh, your hatred of eggs. No, I'm being very forward about my hatred of eggs. That's, I suppose that's true, but it seems as though your hatred of eggs is masking a a, a nostalgic love for eggs. Similar, sim- similarly. Abs- absolutely, Luke. There's, there's no. Go on, try it. No, uh, I've I've really fucked this one. That wasn't an egg pun. I've I've genuinely you just you just couldn't find I, the golden I was gonna, goose. I, I was gonna go with you. You're shelling me like you've got a mortar and you're shelling I'm sh- me with I'm questions. Shelling you short. You shelling. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You've you've you've, uh, you've cracked it. <laughs> you did. I did that one earlier. Did 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 you? You can't do that one this again. This is embarrassing. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Anyway, you know, should we should we throw it over to the listeners? Should we see what people have yeah, to say? Yeah, let's let's see what they've got to say because I, I imagine hopefully positive things. Yeah, well, no one actually. Well, okay, let's get let's get the negative one out of the way. It's not mm. really negative. Oh, um, okay, but <laughs> Jesus. But you know, we've got a response from Pastel. Thank you, Pastel. Thank you. Um, the Pastel's actually allergic to eggs. Um, oh, no, this is a, terrible. A deathly allergy. I mean. Me too, in a way. You know, I also no, not really at all. Um, I mean, I or at I, least I hope not, because that's going to make the raw egg situation. A oh lot god, worse. that might be a problem. No, I just hate eggs. Um, so I guess I'm I think not I really would. Allergic. L- I would like to hate eggs and be allergic than than like eggs and be allergic. Wait, hate obviously, eggs? Right? yeah. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. No, I think you're right. I'm not allergic to eggs, and it's a shame the pastel is, um, because I guess they come. They often come up in places you wouldn't expect. It's one of those where yeah, like you like check the packaging and stuff. Yeah, so like it's it's a, a bit of a problem. Hey, there. Yeah, oh goodness, and Heinz saucy sauce as well. Like, oh <laughs> it's my goodness. ruined for you. Absolutely ruined. Like, yeah, so that, that's a shame. I guess it's one of those things you don't really think about, like especially because they are so prevalent. You don't think about the prevalence of eggs, or I don't... you know, it just sounds at face value like, oh, they can't eat fried eggs. What a shame. Sucks to be you, but actually, there's like, but no, more you there. can't eat like cake. And... Yeah. Mayonnaise. Can't, cake and mayonnaise <laughs> really together. Really on this mayonnaise one? Yeah. <laughs> no, gross. Just a lovely layer of, may- of mayo on the top. Instead of, instead of icing or frosting, just a lovely swirling. I'm doing a hand gesture, I don't know why, of mayo. <laughs> just on the top. That's disgusting. Yeah, but... Um, Do you prefer mayonnaise out of the jar or out of the bottle? I'll have vegan mayo out of the jar, but usually I would get a squeezy bottle of mayo. Hold on. What? We can't talk about vegan mayo. Why not? It doesn't have eggs in it. Oh, God, it's strictly prohibited on this episode. No, it's right, it I'll... literally doesn't have eggs in it, so <laughs> it's not... So what I'll, t- <laughs> what I'll do is I'll, I'll censor every time we say the word vegan <laughs> in the context of vegan <laughs> mayo. I'll so put it a just beep. sounds like you're talking about regular mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah, I'll, like, censor it out. There we go. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. So, so I guess, to be fair, Pastel could have vegan mayo, right? And could go to vegan products for things like that. Yeah, but that's, mm. it's no egg. No egg. You can't eat. It's not egg. Eggless. Eggless. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, but tr- true. But I think it, at least there's something, right? Like, at least there is something they can go to. I think it's one of those where it has, like, a sort of... It's more the fact that it has this binding property that sticks it yeah. all together that's what well, it's useful for. Let's, look, let's find an exciting one. Go okay, on. this one is from my friend Alex. Thank you, Alex. For okay. Oh, so you've got a personal connection to this one. I do. Okay. Uh, and he's also correct. Well, not <laughs> correct, but he's... We'll get back to it. Okay. Uh, scrambled egg with some chives in there. Okay, scrambled egg. Great. He also said those are the only good eggs, which is wrong, but... Yeah. Scrambled egg with chives is good. Okay. Chives are so good with egg. Chives... Wow. ...evolves egg to a new form. So they're like the sort of green stems that they're you chop They're little onion up. things. Oh, uh, they're onion things. Okay. Yeah, that does sound quite good, and scrambled and egg they, is great. Stick them in an omelette, stick them in scrambled egg, stick them in... Raw egg. I mean, yeah, why not? It's um, getting caviar. Go go nuts, yeah. I mean, that, that's great. I, I would say scrambled egg, absolutely top tier. So that on its own. The scrambled egg's great. But getting a bit of colour in there with the chives. I think that is a good how, Do you like, when you, uh, how often do you make scrambled eggs? I've never made scrambled eggs. Okay. Well, when was the last <laughs> time you've had scrambled eggs? Oh, probably many years ago. It would have been on like a, so usually with a full English, they give you fried eggs. I'd always take scrambled. Dude. I would prefer scrambled, yeah. Yeah, but uh, so it'd have been a few years ago. 
Do you like them soft or tough? I like it as creamy as possible. Like really creamy. Mm, no, I'm a. I, they have to be well cooked for me. I'm. I'm not a soft egg boy. Really? So like, yeah. like chunky, like not chunky. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what it is, right? Like it's a bit chunky. Not, I mean, it's like I mashed guess, potato. Kind of. No, what? Yeah, it is. Like if it's too chunky, it becomes like mashed potato. What? Luke, I don't know if you have you ever had scrambled eggs. Yeah, I've had scrambled eggs before. Because I'm beginning to doubt you. It doesn't become like mashed potato. Like mashed potato is like creamy. Yeah, it's not not in the consistency, but it's in like the the everything else about it. <laughs> the flavour. It's got no. a chunky flavour to it's, it. It's got a potatoy flavour to it. <laughs> <laughs> you that. Oh, this is this is something I want to try now. Okay, Luke. One day I'm going to tell you I'm preparing you scrambled egg on toast, and then I'm going to take some mashed potato and do everything in my power to make it look like scrambled eggs. And I'm going to hand you the scrambled egg on toast, and then you'll try it, and you'll discover it's mashed potato. And I'll be like, this is odd, but also totally fine. I love mashed potato. <laughs> okay. Well, when that happens, I will smile. And I'll report back. I'll talk about it on the show, so there'll be some follow-up there if that ever does happen. Wait, if that ever occurs, which yeah. it won't. Probably won't, but um, I'll I try. I don't know how you could ever mask. I'll dye it a little bit yellow, and then like maybe... You gotta brown it a little if you if get, it's meant to get be your, like yeah well chef's blow scrambled eggs. Yeah, I, I reckon this could work. I reckon this, if you do this, write in. Let us know. Take if pictures. If you manage to trick someone with your mashed potato crime, yeah, take take a couple of pictures, send them in. We'd love to see them. So scrambled egg, good choice. I li- I like it. We had a response here for deviled eggs from Lime. Thank you, Lime. Deviled, deviled eggs. I don't know what a deviled egg is. I've absolutely no idea. I've heard it so many times. It's oh, I on do know par. what a deviled egg is. They're like a little on, not entree, a uh, a side. This doesn't look it, real. These don't look real. What What does that even mean? Like, what? How would? You, okay. Do you know how to cook deviled eggs, Luke? No. How well, do you well, think yes, you do? Actually. Okay. What do you do? You b- hard boil an egg. Okay. You uh, take the peel off. Okay. The shell. Shell. Yeah. <laughs> Peel. Peel. <laughs> <laughs> um, you slice the egg in half. Okay. You take the yolk out. Right. You make a mixture with the yolk with, like, mustard and mayonnaise, Ooh, I believe. Okay. 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 And then you uh, you put that back in. And that bish bash bosh, jobs are good. Okay, I see what you're saying. That And that sounds quite tasty, actually. But, like, looking at it, this doesn't look like real food. It, it looks like... It, it looks like this has been made to look like an egg. So, for example, I remember watching a YouTube video once where someone made um, McDonald's chicken nugget and fries cake. So they were cake nuggets and cake fries. And they look exactly like the real deal, pretty much. Like, they look like chicken nuggets and they look like fries. Mm-hmm. But you, you buy it and it's cake. It's, a, it's just a cake. Like, it's yeah. all crumbly and everything. But it look, And it looks like... So it's not a chicken nugget. It has nothing to do with chicken nuggets, but it looks like one. That's the vibe yeah. we're getting here from this deviled egg. But deviled these... eggs are literally made with egg. But though. they don't look like egg. But they are me- they are egg. They they. I know. Egg. I appreciate that they are, but they don't look like it. They do be egg. They look though. like someone. It looks like someone's taken like you know some fondant or a cream or something, <laughs> and made it into this yellow thing. You could make little deviled egg cakes. To be fair. Yeah, and they, and if too difficult. Exactly, and they've done something to make the, something that looks like the white, and it, they've made something that looks like it could be egg, but isn't. I don't know if I trust it. You know when that meme was going around of like things that look like cake? <laughs> yeah. Like or things that don't look like cake. Like it'll be a shoe and someone will cut into yeah. it and it's a cake. And it's a cake. I'm getting that people were afraid of that and I'm afraid of this. You're afraid that you're going to bite into a deviled egg one day and it's going to be a cake. Yeah, Cuz it doesn't look like devil. It doesn't look like Remember egg. Remember how you were just doing that whole bit about mashed potato? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is literally that. <laughs> it's really come around. You've made your own concern. I'm the own I'm I'm my own victim here. Um yeah man, I don't know. I I I'm they sure look they're really good. nice. I'd love to eat deviled eggs. I'd never make them. Like that looks like a lot of work for They used to make a full English breakfast every day. 
Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, but Harry, the thing about a full English breakfast is it's one of the most disgusting looking foods on the planet because it's just food <laughs> slop. But that's why it's so good. Like, why would I put the time in to be like, oh, I've made my, my delicate little deviled eggs where I've taken out the filling and replaced it rather than what I would actually do in real life, which is hard boil an egg <laughs> and dip it in ketchup and mustard. And oh, just eat it. what? What? I'd you're, do that. You're dipping a hard boiled egg in ketchup and mustard. I haven't ev- I haven't done that, but I would do that. You would do that? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what? That's not that weird. So, okay. So, it's in the pan. It's in the in the pot, right? It's, <laughs> it's been... in the pan. <laughs> I'm rolling it around in a, in a frying pan. Yeah, you to find it. it to the point where it's finally hard-boiled. You then... There's all kinds of tricks you can do, like straws and stuff like that, to get it out of the shell. I mean, you pop it out of the shell. You've mm-hmm. just got a hard-boiled egg in your hand... And yeah. you just scoop up some ketchup and mustard and, and pop yeah. it in your mouth. Yes. I'm going to throw up. This is Why is that so weird? That's Why are you... I feel like this is a real twin episode with the, the real sister episode of the Saucers one. Because, like, this is... This is... What are you... What are a, you what is, what's, upset, what is upsetting you about It's an this? egg. It's, what if it was just ketchup? What if it was just ketchup? No. Well, maybe that would be more acceptable. But not acceptable. It would just be more acceptable. Why? Why? Why is this a problem for you? Why are you so hung up on this one? What you're saying, right? And you're gonna say this is hyperbole. You're gonna say it's an exaggeration. It's like you're, it's like you're, you're telling me that you've just prepared a lovely beef Wellington, and you're you're taking slices of beef Wellington, dipping it in Heinz saucy sauce, and eating it. That's what it sounds like you're doing to me. Except a hot, like a beef Wellington takes like. 30 hours to cook. But how how unnatural and disgusting does the thing I just said sound? I mean, that sounds like a weird thing to do, but not yeah. unnatural. Okay, what to you would be an unnatural food and sauce combo? Like ice cream and <laughs> Heinz saucy sauce. That is literally the equivalent of what, of what you're saying to me. That's how <laughs> I feel. Are you talking? How you what feel? Are you? <laughs> you have lost. You've lost it. You've you, <laughs> taking Harry, I'm, I'm taking egg. applications for a new co-host for Play Favorites. <laughs> what the fuck? Harry's it's gone off the deep end. A hard-boiled egg. I don't even like eggs to begin with. Like, and you're why is it? This is, the hard-boiled egg with ketchup isn't that weird. It's so fucking weird, man. Like, it's really weirding me out. <laughs> The audience will back me up on this one. This isn't that weird. You're you're being weird. We're gonna have to do a separate poll. We're gonna have to run we a separate poll. We need a new poll. poll. We need yeah. a different Alongside poll on Twitter n- at Play Favorites. It, Unrelated to the favorites. Yeah, we're gonna need to. Is it okay to take a boil, hard boiled egg, scoop up some ketchup and mustard, and eat it? I <laughs> I'm just, I can't believe that. Anyway, okay, moving on. Moving on. Next, give us a, give us another. You want another favorite. audience? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this one is from Fran. Thank you, Fran. Thank you, Fran. Uh, you were just on the last episode, and now you're featured and, here. So, oh, you know, lucky you're devil. Really got a winning streak going. It's a Chinese style omelette. Um, Chinese style. I've never had one of these. Do you know what one is? Not particularly, no. But um, I know uh, Fran likes to make them. Egg um, foo young. Egg Foo Young. That's a... I think this is it. I know there's like... Oh, yeah, that that does what look is, like an omelette. What right? is that sauce? It does just look like an omelette. It's an omelette, but I mean, I'm on I'm on recipetineats.com, and it's like... I know most of us think of omelettes as a breakfast thing, and no matter how often I endorse it for oh, dinner, I, I feel it, like yeah. it'll never stick. There's some kind of sauce on this. Egg Foo Young is a Chinese omelette, egg mixed with vegetables and usually some type of protein, prawn, shrimp, or pork are common, then smothered in a Chinese stir-fry sauce. Mm, that is so nice. To be fair, it is. Here we go. It is believed to have originally been created by Chinese chefs in America as a way to use up leftovers. Mm. So there you go. Yeah, it looks all right. I wouldn't be. Yeah, I would eat it. I like. Yeah. I, I like it. I like omelet. I mean, it's pretty much just omelet, right? <laughs> With like vegetables and some sort of uh, protein mixed in. I don't really like shrimp, to be honest. But you know, that's okay. Yeah, if you get pork in there, pork is one you can do. I, li- I do like pork. There you go. Sorted. Do you want to do um, one at the end of the episode? Why are you so on the like activities portion of playing favorites now? I don't know. It seems exciting. Everyone, open your handbook. Um, it, it feels exciting and dynamic. To, you know, the podcast is happening. You know, like stuff, go, stuff happening in media res. Harry's going to eat a raw egg. <laughs> yeah, you know. I hope you're ready. By the way, we're approaching. You know, critical well, mass look, on that. We've one. still got to do our favorites. It's okay. You know. We'll... I hope your favorites are raw egg. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we'll see. 
so yeah, if you, I like vegetables. I like Chinese stir fry sauce. This seems like a good combo. I'll I'll seems put up good. with the fact that there's an omelette involved. <laughs> um, I think I can handle that. You, I feel like, like over the course of this episode, <laughs> you've become a, a hater. Kind of. of. <laughs> I'm really going egg. all. You know, like maybe I need to be reminded. Maybe this raw egg will really like balance me out. You know, you know people people say like if you fast, it like really mm. changes your relationship with food. And I'm hoping that if by eating this raw egg, if you it'll, never eat. Oh, okay. It'll right, no. It, awesome. Yeah, it'll rebalance how I feel about it. I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll see. Well, before that though, we have got to do the the bit we, we always to, do. Yeah. Which is our favorite way to Talk cook an egg. Our favorites. Now, do you want to go first? I suppose so. My answer's difficult. What about you? Have you got this nice, simple? Mine isn't that difficult, no. Okay. Well, should we get mine out of the way? How about that? And then we'll do yours. Then yeah, I'll sure. Okay. It feels like yours might take up more airtime right now. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be I'll be brief. I'll I'll keep it concise. Um because keep it simple, stupid. So my boring answer, which I don't think I'm gonna go with, is scrambled egg. Not gonna go with it though. You're, just, you're just, right, that is a boring answer. You know, if it's like that a, was also my boring answer, so yeah. glad that we both got that one <laughs> out of the way. A dishonorable mention. Scramble egg. Which is good, and it's like, whatever. We love it. Who doesn't love it? It's good, scrambled yeah, egg. yeah. Absolutely. Unless you're allergic. In which case, you probably um, don't love it. But yeah, scrambled egg. Um, my, I did mention to you briefly off-air. <laughs> um, I was like, okay, Luke, am I allowed to say my favourite even if it's illegal? <laughs> and it isn't illegal, really. I was just worried about the health risks. Because I almost said that my favourite way to cook an egg was to eat it raw <laughs> out of a glass. <laughs> after someone did it the other night. And I've never done this. However, I think that, like, it's fun and Go it's get quirky. it! Go get it! Go get it! Right now? Right now. You have to prove it. Okay, here we go. If it's not that, I love an egg sandwich. Egg and cress sandwich, right? All right, well, we're not going to have to worry about that. I'm going to go get the egg. <laughs> go get your egg. Hey, audience. Whilst I've got you in secret right now, I want you to know that I'm pretty sure Harry eating this raw egg... Um, it's going to be unpleasant to listen to. So if you have sensitive ears, um, maybe just like turn the podcast off. Uh, it, you don't need to listen to the end of the episode. My favorite uh, is Scotch Egg. So, uh, you know, Harry will do all the outro stuff as well. Like, oh, uh, follow us on Twitter slash play favorites pod. Is that the Twitter account? Twitter.com slash pod. Play, is it just slash play favorites? At play fa- favorites. At play favorites with a U. Don't forget the U. I said favorites, didn't I? So I've got it stuck in my head. Favorites. You can send in an email if you'd like. You should send in an email that says, um, Harry, why did you eat a podcast? Eat a podcast? <laughs> why did you eat a raw egg on the podcast? Quietly close the door when. Um, playing favorites podcast at Gmail. I can hear him coming back. I heard, I heard someone in the background. I heard him say something about quietly close the door. Hi, Luke. Yeah, I have got a live studio audience who's going to remain quiet while I eat this raw egg. They better. Okay, I've got it, and I'm going to crack it into the into a glass. Don't worry, I did all the outro stuff for you in case you die. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's appreciated. Okay. Can you hear me cracking it? I did hear something, yeah. Okay, great. Um, are you supposed to, like, stir it first, or are you just well, I mean, I've, swallow the yolk? I've, I've spilled a small amount onto my mouse mat. Um, That's fine, just... Yeah. Did you hear me lick my fingers? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Um, there's now a second person that's joined me watching it at my door while I eat a, a raw egg for the entertainment. Hey, this is content. Audience. They're not allowed to watch this. They've got to listen to the episode. Okay, well, I'm looking at it, and like it's, I'm suddenly regretting many things. <laughs> um, so, like, okay, I guess I should just get it over with, right? Go on, bud. Have you said your favorite while I've been away? Yeah. Really? Yep. <laughs> okay. Do I eat it all in one go? Mm-hmm. Do I hold it in my mouth? It's a shot. No, you just swallow it. It's got like a whole thing in there. There's like a, a yolk floating. I'm supposed to just drink that? Luke, come yes. back. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Here we go. Okay, I've got an update. Um, I immediately vomited the egg back into the glass. <laughs> yeah, that's not good enough. What do you mean that's not good enough? That's not good enough. <laughs> do I actually have to fully consume this egg? Look, I mean, you committed. 
<laughs> I'm going to try again, Luke. If there's noises, I'll edit them out. No, it's okay. I already gave a warning. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound well. No. <laughs> That was much worse than I anticipated. <laughs> Hang on, there's still some white and 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 fluid in the bottom. <laughs> no. Look, no half measures, right? Oh. It, um. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, my favorite Scotch egg. <laughs> I like Scotch eggs. <laughs> I'm really glad. Um, I'm really, I'm really happy for you. <laughs> so, I mean, I can go eat a scotch egg. No, no, like, no. So don't trouble yourself. Bad. Don't trouble yourself. It's fine. It's okay. Um, why do you like scotch eggs? <laughs> you know, it's, you get to eat an egg and some like sausage meat too. It's what's not to love. Yeah, my favorite is egg sandwiches. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I like it because you can add other things into the mix, like cress and lettuce, and it means... You think things. you'd ever eat a raw egg again? No. But now you're prepared. You know what it's like. To be fair, if I was drunk enough, at least now I know what to expect. Yeah. It's true, yeah. There was this, uh, this genuinely a moment, because it didn't just like, you know, it's not like a glass of water where you tip the glass back and the water's in your mouth. There was a period mm -hmm. of time where I was tipping the glass back and the egg was traveling towards me. <laughs> <laughs> and I genuinely considered, can I edit out every point in the podcast that we have mentioned Harry eating this raw egg? <laughs> and then it oh. happened. And then and then I and then I ate it. Um I guess we should wow. do the outro now, right? Yeah, go ahead, bud. Okay, well thank you everyone for for listening to this episode of Play for a Weird Episode. <laughs> episode twenty. This is the big episode the big two oh, zero. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! So this is a celebration. Um, yeah. So th so I hope everyone's been enjoying it and has enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you wanna get in contact, we're on Twitter at Play Favorites. Remember, favorites has a U in it. F A V O U R I T E S. You can tweet us. We do polls every for every new episode uh, to see who had the best opinion. And also this whole deviled egg thing. Uh, I don't know how much of that I left in to the final cut, but devil deviled egg. No, not even deviled egg. Boiled egg with ketchup and mustard. Any good? It'll be on the Twitter. Yes. Like, Get in, get in touch. Vote in the poll. Uh, as well as, you know, you can tweet us uh, episode suggestions and all kinds of stuff. Same with the email. Playing favorites podcast at gmail.com. Email in. Challenges we've set. Eggs you've eaten. Your favorite way to eat an egg. All kinds of stuff. Get in contact. Send us pictures of eggs you've eaten. <laughs> Actually, maybe if you're about to eat the egg, then send the picture. Um, that would be a, a better idea. Or past tense eaten. No, well, that, as long as you took the... Future tense mm, eaten. Yeah. Don't yeah you you you'll figure it out you're you're clever people I think that's I think that's everything we have to say about ways to to <laughs> ways to cook an egg I love how the episode ended with me with me eating an uncooked egg yep what a beautiful bit of irony you, you chose that fate I suppose so well have you got anything else to add Luke on ways to cook an egg Harry I really think this was an excellent episode of course what else all right see you later everyone <laughs> and on that eggshell. <laughs> I'm stopping recording.